Hi guys! So as you could tell, this is another one of my new uh, MacBook taped videos uh, that I'm doing. And this is a very spur of the moment video. I had a whole list of things that I wanted to do, as you guys know, um, from Christmas that I bought and loved and wanted to review. But I got something in the mail today that I just had to talk about right now. Um, and that is the Phonad plates. Um, I'll explain what that is in just a minute. But basically, uh, if anyone saw my video on the thing, you saw my Conad nail stamper and nail design plates that look like, let me find one, that look like this. And these are the Conad plates. Um, and these are just the nail designs where you put polish on them, scrape them off, and then stamp the design onto your nails. Um, it's something I'm very interested in doing. I got the starter kit for Christmas, and I was immediately hooked. The starter kit, uh, let me show you guys what the starter kit came with. Of everything in this uh, pretty fairy box. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, so. The starter kit for Conad came with two plates that look like this. I'm trying to get this away from the light so you can see the actual designs. And this is M3 and M2. And if you guys can see the actual design on here, there's little stars and flowers and a little animation guy, the word love, all these little designs on there. And then this one is, there you go, there's bows, stars, flowers, and hearts. So they're very similar. Um, I got very hooked on this immediately. Um, the other thing that came with the kit was the nail polish scraper and the nail polish stamper. Oops, this is like a rubber stamp. And three specially formulated thick polishes in blue, white, and red. Now in case you're confused as to what this does, this is what you do. You put a little glop of this special polish on the plate, on the image that you like. So let's say, for example, we're going to use this um, daisy image right there. Um, you'd put a little polish on it. You'd use the scraper to go across it like this and scrape off the excess polish. Then you'd use the stamper and go across it like this and the image would be on the stamp. Then you take the image on the stamp and roll it like this onto your nails and the image goes onto your nails. So now let me show you. Um, right now I have images on my nails. If you guys can see they look like snowflakes. They might be a little um, they might be a little messed up looking uh, in the light. They're like a shimmery color. You guys can see I have snowflakes on there. So that's basically what you do, you just stamp like that. So I got the, um, I checked out the Conad website. Conad is like the official one, it's uh, nail stamping art. So I went to conadnail.com. You could also purchase a lot of them on amazon.com. Um, and I found out that the plates are about $4 each. And each plate has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven images. But, um, so for seven images it would be like $4. Uh, while well, it's not that astronomical and compared to a lot of things it's still a lot of money because they could add up because like let's say here I like the bow design on this one but I like the daisy design on this one if I bought both it's already eight dollars and I'm really just paying for the two designs that I really want so it just becomes a lot so I checked out a lot and one of the deals that I found on Amazon was Bundle Monster which is a dupe company which I had always had great reviews um, and I checked those out, and that has a 21 plate kit for $17.99, which I thought was excellent. Then, um, in the related items, I saw one for Shani, uh, S-H-A-N-Y, which was a bundle monster dupe. So it's a dupe of a Conan dupe. Um, and that was 25 plates for $13.95. Since that was obviously the best deal, um, I did a little bit of research, checked it out. And according to everybody, Bundle Monster and Shani are the exact same... Uh, plates, even the shiny plates even have BM, they're numbered BM, um, like Bundle Monster. Uh, the only difference is that you get four extra plates and it's cheaper. So I did my research, checked it out, did watched reviews, videos, uh, blogs, everything like that. 
and finally decided to buy the shiny plate. So, they finally arrived today. Let me show you the packaging. The Conan packaging, the name is like this. It's printed out. This is the official Conan packaging. This was the package for a plate holder that I bought. And this is just something that you could hold the image plates in so that they don't slide when you're scraping the polish off. Um, the shiny packaging looks like this. And this image plate stamping nail art. So these are the plates, and this is the stack of them. Oh my god, okay. Um, so this is the stack of them, and as you can see, the plates are the same. They're the same size, right here. So you can't even tell the difference when it's in a stack. The only difference that I could tell so far is that there's a paper sticker on the back of the Conads with the website on it, and on the back of the Shani, there's nothing. Also, the side, the edges of the conad are a little bit smooth, and edges of the shiny plates are kind of sharp. I'm actually a little afraid of cutting myself on these, um, but that's what the plate holder is for, so I could hold it in place and not have to hold them as much. When I first got them, there was a thin plastic film on top. I had been warned, so I knew to look out for these, but um, you really can't see the film. It just looks like scratches on your plates. So what you have to do is take an emery board and just kind of file down like this and it'll start peeling off. It won't damage the plates at all. So I got 25 plates for $13.95. I'm just going to show you guys some of the images that we have here. The snowflakes that I put on my nails today are from this brand. This is Bundle Monster uh, Shiny Plate 1 with leaves and stuff. The second one, the little kiss over here that I think would be a lot of fun. This is three. I have music notes, love, stuff like that. It's four. And it's the four leaf clovers and flowers. Yeah. All right. It's five. Oh, and this one's dogs and cats and stuff like that. Get this the right way. Right there, there's a cat. There's, oh, this is five. I'm sorry, I'm counting wrong. And there's leaves and grapes and a strawberry. This is one with tips on it. These aren't in order. I'm sorry. This is the one with tips on it. This one is stars with like a plaid. Uh, and this has a butterfly, flower, chili peppers. Stuff like that. This one has a peace sign, little tattoo wings. This one is probably going to be one of my f favorites. It has crowns, a chandelier. You can see the chandelier right there, an anchor. This one has flowers and diamond and shells. Where's the diamond? And this one is just patterns. has more patterns. You can use these for all over the nail for an entire nail design. This one's like edging. This one is mostly I think like Halloween designs. There's a spider web, a witch, a bat, a spider. This one is the one that I used today for the snowflake. The snowflake is up in the top. There's stars, holly leaves, there's a cupcake there, bells. Uh, over here, I like this one a lot. There's a peacock. And tower, feather, lizard. This one is great. It's got full patterns. There's another one with tips. Another one with tips. Here's another one with some really cool patterns. Check out that one uh, in the lower corner that has like the sweets and the cards, like the spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. There's also a houndstooth kind of pattern, like an abstract swirl. This one has stars, stripes, arrows, all kinds of different squiggles. 
This one has a lovely like damask in there, like a hound's tooth. This one has buttons and butterflies, stuff like that. And this one has a rose, a palm tree, and just some pretty other designs. So these are the plates so far. I used them today again for the snowflake. Um, I've had some pretty decent luck with them, I think, so far. I have to find a new way to store them because right now I'm just storing them in this box and um, they're kind of sliding all over the place. But um, I found them to be more time-consuming than difficult. They're not difficult, um, but just time-consuming. You want to make sure when you're doing these you have a dry manicure. My manicure was actually done yesterday, and then I just added the snowflakes on today. Um, I also use them for my pedicure just to have a little fun. And yeah, I'm probably going to do a tutorial on how to do a nice conad or phonad or just some kind of stamping design uh, in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments, send me a message, check out the blog, and I'm going to have pictures and all kinds of stuff like that on my blog. Also, if you guys are really big fans of nail polish, you might want to check out my blog for an interesting offer that's good until January 7th. Have a good night, guys. Bye.